How you doing, YouTube? Matt from Matt's Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of beer meal. Just a little, a little bit of beer meal. Uh, yeah, back with an insane, gigantic, humongous beer meal. Uh, courtesy of Ralph. Thank you very much, dude. A little from Florida with love, dear Ralph. Uh, for those who don't know, you should know, but Ralph is an infinitely awesome, infinitely generous fellow from down Florida way. Um, a bulk, actually all the civil society beers that I've reviewed has come from him. Plus a couple of little jammers here and there, barrel of monks, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, he had a two part beer mail coming to me. This is part number one. It's just ridiculous. So I don't know what to do. I'm just going to kind of carve into it and just start yanking shit out of there. So yeah. Anyway, let's get this back in the frame here. Yeah. <laughs> this is like two feet by two feet by two feet. It is just bonkers. So we'll see what we have going on here. Yada, yada, yada. A whole lot of tape. Oh, Ralphie boy. Uh, let's see. Come on, you son of a bitch. Uh, one more rotation here. And we should be good to go. Uh, I know everybody does like the pre-cut stuff, but I don't know, man. I'm just kind of weird about it. I just like the... I like doing everything. So you know it's a big surprise. Ooh. Goddamn pack of peanuts. Damn it. I'm not going to complain too much. So I don't even know where to put this goddamn thing. So let's just slide it off to the side here for now. And just start taking beers out of here. Cans. And that would be a bottle. It's like, you know, bobbing for beers or something. There's just so much. I might have to, uh, to stand up for this or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, just more cans. Why not? Sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. Knocking shit over, breaking stuff. This is called science. Pack peanuts aren't that bad, to be perfectly honest with you. I think they'd be worse. I think that's it. That's it. Oop, oop, ladder. See, I knew there would be something fun in there. So let's see what we have going on. Okay, that's it. So let's take this gigantic monstrosity of a thing. Oh, that's such a beautiful sound, isn't it? I'm gonna read the letter. What do we have here? I'm gonna read it myself, because it might be pornographic. Dear Matt, words and stuff. Enjoy the brewers, perfect. Two T's, he spelled my damn name wrong, you son of a bitch. He actually knew that, he actually sent a, sent a message to me. He's like, oh man, he's like, I spelled your name wrong. I don't care, actually. You know, I, I kind of bust people's balls about the name thing, but Matt with one T, that's not common. So I actually don't get that peeve over it. So anyway, uh, I don't know. Um, let's just start with the cans just because that's what I want to start with. So we got two packs of cans, a whole bunch of bottles. You didn't see that, did you? Dropping shit. I don't deserve this stuff. To be honest with you, this is the red hot mess. This is actually this is like a early day in boxing. I never unbox stuff when it's been light outside. Usually, doesn't that work like that? Um, but this is a super snowy day here, so I kind of took the day off work. So it's like five o'clock on the nose. It's still light outside. Kind of weird. Um, first things first. Uh, Civil Society. I mean, I pretty much knew I was going to get some of those. This is their double dry hopped camo. Uh, it's double India Pale Ale, 8.5% alcohol by volume. They don't date their cans. They don't write di uh, big, long diatribes. You know, just a nice little camo can with their little Frenchy bulldog on there. Ella, uh, I believe, who passed away, I think. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So, one and done on that one. Next one up, we have mm, Sing Green uh, from uh, Civil Society. Is their double India Pale Ale, 9% alcohol by volume. I kind of dig that label quite a bit. Just hops, hot hands, baby. What are you gonna do? I mean, you know, not to steal tired hands name for their beer. Hot hands. And last but not least, we have extra, extra pulp. I've had pulp, I've had extra pulp. So now we got extra, extra pulp. It's a 10% double American wheat ale. Uh, yeah, big beers, big beers barking in my face. I don't think anybody gets that reference, but whatever. Uh, anyway, next we have Calusa. I have never had anything from these guys up until last week. 
actually it was two weeks ago, I went to a um, Equilibrium. I went to one of their bottle releases and someone had a, a barrel aged stout from these guys. Uh, so this is their Double India Pale Nail. It is Citrus Big um, Unfiltered Citra Hop Double IPA with a flavor that is notoriously B-I-G. 8.8% alcohol by volume, done and done. Really cool um, label design. Um, it's kind of like a pop art with a little bit of kind of tattoo, old school sailor style stuff. I kind of dig that quite a bit actually. Uh, next one up, we have another Calusa. So this is the RIP India Pale Ale, or the RIP, on Double India Pale Ale, Rye Hopped, Rye, Rye, Hopped, Rye India Pale Ale with Citra, Columbus, and Chinook Hops. Uh, so RIP, Rye India Pale. Um, 6.8% alcohol by volume. Done and done. Again, another cool little can there. 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 Get on camera, jerks. And last but not least, another Civil Society one. One of my favorite labels, actually. It's called Fade Away. It's a porter. Nice. 7.5% alcohol by volume. Just simple. This is Fade Away. I dig it. So there you go. Six cans. Beautiful. Let's open the one that I dropped off the goddamn table. You know. Let's force her out here. What do we got going? Oh, yeah. First up, we have Calusa. It's their ignorant clod barley wine style with coffee ale. Yeah, buddy. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love me some barley wines, but you don't get a lot of barley wines with coffee, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, barley wine style ale with coffee, 11% alcohol by volume. Um, story time. Uh, ignorant clod barrel aged barley. Oh, barrel aged barley wine style ale with coffee. Didn't say barrel aged on the front. There's barrels. Should have known it. Uh, full bodied English barley wine style ale uh, of malty richness and power. Bourbon barrel aging brings depths of flavor with notes of toasted oak, vanilla, and caramelized sugar. A regal contemplative sipper from the warm hearts and pointed insults. Uh, I kind of really dig that. I dig the the idea, the labeling, the whole nine, and it was. Bottled on January 22nd, 2018, which isn't too long ago. So there you go. I'm just going to kind of plop her back here because there's nowhere else to put them. There's just so many. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is big Barrel Monks. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. We got Barrel Monks Brewing. It's their Super Wizard Wheat Wine Ale. Dig me some wheat wines. Um... Let's see. It says, brewed in celebration of our birthday of the wizard. Super wizard is a super version of our wizard wit. We double the amount of wheat and barley and up the hops and spices to give you a fuller flavored version with more ABV and more body. Able to leap from the glass to your mouth in a single bound. Um, yeah. O2 2018 maybe or something like that. So it looks relatively fresh, but yeah, I dig me some wheat wines. If they're done right, they really kind of land for me. Cool label. Superman. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when the Superman runs wild on you? So Hogan. I don't know why I made that voice. It happens on my days off. I mean, I actually still work. work remotely with that I do now. So, I've been kind of staring at a computer screen essentially all day, so my brain is a little shot. Okay, come on, baby. Torsey Cage. A barrel amongst Wild Wizard. Just a wild version of the wizard. Um, it's a barrel aged wit beer. Uh, Wild Wizard is a barrel aged version of our wizard wit. This beer spent over a year in relatively neutral tequila barrels. The oak flavors add complexity while botanomyces and lactobacillus in these barrels give the beer a pleasant wine like tartness and a touch of wild yeast funk. Enjoy. Thou shalt not pass. We'll see what happens. Thou shalt pass out though if you could chug that stuff, you know. Ralph's the crazy dude. From how he boxes, how many dudes he sends to his infinite generosity. He's a crazy dude. In the most beautiful way possible. I say that in a positive way, not in a negative way. Uh, Southern Swells. Okay, it's their Burn Barrel Age Northern Roots Imperial Stout. 11% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, it's an ode to our New England upbringing. Northern Roots is a big, chewy Imperial Stout aged in St. Augustine Distillery Oak Bourbon Barrels. Bourbon Barrel Age Coffee Variant, this one is. Uh, bold Bean Coffee Roasters. And done and done. So yeah, you got an Imperial Stout Bourbon Barrel Aged 
and with coffee. So coffee and pickles down. That does not suck. It's pretty much what all the fin, uh, the uh, Southern Swells uh, labels come off, kind of just that black and white picture with a little bit of kind of a graphic in front of it. So I like them. Don't blow me away. Stylistic. Picky me being picky me. And I'm guessing another Calusa here based on the bottle shape. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, last Buffalo, son. Um, yeah, Living Barrel, Last Buffalo, Burn Barrel Aged. Uh, last Buffalo in the park, sorry. Um, Imperial Porter Aged in Barrels with Coconut Coffee and Natural Flavors added. Um, yeah. Like the spiraling growth of a tree's branches, so too are the beers transformed over the time thanks to maturation exclusively in oak, wine, and spirit casks. Unlike the ageless timber... The bottle is only available for a limited time. I like um, the uh, Funky Buddha kind of new school kind of labeling thing they're doing. Um, it's kind of like somewhere between like Wicked Weed and um, uh, the brewery as far as style goes. I kind of dig that. Okie dokie. And last but not least. If you actually could feel this, he like packs it in this kind of tighter seems like bubble wrap and then there's kind of thinner stuff I don't know I bring stuff up there but there's a lot of bubble wrap this is definitely going to be a one more barrel amongst this has got a little dimple in the bottle but that's how I know and this is their Be Mine Cherry Chocolate Quad mm. yes Valentine's uh, it is uh, bah, 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 Be Mine Cherry Chocolate Quad on the back here we have a sip of Be Mine will bring one word to mind decadence uh the tart cherries and cocoa nibs added to the already rich dark fruit and raisins of our quadraphonic quadruple result in a hedonistic delight for the senses this once a year release is perfect for sharing with someone special me and me um so yeah look at this stuff a whole lots of beer to go around from the amazing amazing florida craziness that is ralph I mean, look at that. That does not suck. That's a good thing. You might get heck, kind of a day off work. I mean, I still work all day pretty much, but uh, I sit there and a UPS guy knocks on my door and just throws this at me. Yay. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, epic, gigantic, huge, heavy unboxing. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy me reviewing all these. Hope you, hopefully... Um, Ralph knows how much I appreciate this because it's pretty badass, brother, and I can't wait to do these hopeful, hopefully some justice. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy them, and uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.